Yeah, Smart War Games here. Let's check out Dreadnoughts by Turkan Research Systems. Yeah, there is also another naval game. This one is focused on World War I, yeah, as the name indicates. Turkan Research Systems also released a World War II version. Also coming with yeah, carrier-focused naval warfare. And they also released some land-based games, yeah, specifically focusing on the Civil War and the Napoleonic War. I think a couple of them is uh, even available on Steam, originally released on Amiga, I think. This one, what we are running here right now, is DOS, but could be also that there is an Amiga version. And yeah, check my, check my channel. I might add the developer studio because this can be helpful for finding specific videos. But I think one is called Waterloo, the other one is called Austerlitz. Those two games were released on Steam. And there you don't need to handle any emulators, that is basically everything included. Yeah, what is specific about those games, they come all with this early 3D engine. Yeah, this very early 3D engine, you could say this 3D engine that didn't age that well. Yeah. But but what m might be so special about those games, especially the naval games... Uh, he wants a scenario from me. You check the folder, I guess, right? Give me a second. Uh, that's one of those games where you need channel, Bismarck, Bismarck? Okay, yeah, it seems like it's also going for World War II. I want to see Bismarck. Jutland. So it seems like not only World War One. Sea Trial, Ulsan, Tsushima. Yeah, it's also the... Yeah, I mean, I can show you the folder. Yeah. Why not? It's no secret here, no confidential. I guess you need to hit those names. Yeah, we have Bismarck. And Channel Dash, I guess, World War One, Co Battle of Coronel, World War One, Denmark Strait, Dogger's Bank, World War One, Falklands, World War One, etc., etc., Java Sea. I think actually that is World War Two. Jutland, obvious. Yeah, Tsushima, that is Russo Japanese War. So it is basically Surface Combat, Yellow Sea, Yalu, Surface Combat, World War I, World War II, and also Japanese War. So even pre Dreadnought era. Okay, so let's pick one. Bismarck, perhaps, but on the other hand, perhaps we want to see how big this game can scale. That would be then rather. Because Bismarck will be. Almost one versus one. Or oh, one versus two ships. Jutland. Okay, let's try this out. Good, he's loading. Yeah, as I mentioned, the graphics, I would rather prefer something like a um, good 2D game. Yeah, how does it hold up? Yeah, that is of course, as always, your decision. Graphics-wise, as I mentioned, I would rather prefer a game like Great Naval Battles. There's also a World War One version of it, Surface World War Two, Carrier World War Two. Uh, that is SSI. They also covered basically everything with a nice GUI. But what is here really nice is signaling, yeah? that is often not covered in naval war games, absolutely not stressed. That was in reality a huge challenge, especially in World War One. There was a lot of signal errors, yeah, a lot of ships. If you read about the Battle of Jutland, there was even hostile ships linking up with, oh, yeah, with of ships linking up with hostile ships. Jellico. Uh, do we want to play the British? Sure, I think. Last time, Jutland. I can't remember. No, I think last time we played the British. But this time we will play Share. 
View and note. <laughs> yeah, why not? Sure. Are you using a mouse? Yes. Newest technology, yeah? I'm using one. Good. So he's now loading. Yeah, and that is the graphics, yeah? this, as I mentioned. Yeah, very, very early 3D graphics. And nothing to write home about. I would rather prefer something top down. But it is basically, yeah, that was early technology. It didn't age that good now, I guess, for the most. But doesn't matter. Yeah, we still have our order system here. 3D graphics are just eye candy. It's not that important. Yeah, and what makes this game special is signaling. That is almost never mentioned in those naval games. Would even make them more exciting. Uh, I mean, there are some signal errors simulated in Shutland or Distant Guns. But other than that, it is basically like combat mission. Yeah, you have command, instant command of all ships. In reality, that was extremely difficult yeah, to get those signals through the fleet. And yeah, here you will ask to basically choose ships and, like a commander, send them messages. And it seems like you uh, you can switch the camera, but you can also play with your um, with your flagship. And that is also something that is not often covered. Would like to play naval games where you're basically tied to your flagship and need to work it out. Yes, somewhat like what those Simcan games do. Good, Friedrich der Große, watch officer. Friedrich der Große, nice name. Enemy ship Warspite, bearing 24,000 yards northwest. I guess that's those Jimmy's there, right? Right in front of us. Okay, 20 knots, good. Southampton, Birmingham, friendly ship König, be König bearing 9,000 yards north. Yeah, that is the guy you see here in the corner. I can't show it you with a mouse. There's no mouse cruiser. You see there's a little ship in the corner here below the clock. Yeah, that is a clock. That is That must be the König. That is König was a battleship. Yeah, battleship. Of the Germans. Ostfriesland, 3000 yards south east. That is behind us. Yeah, probably riding with us. Yeah, and that's what I like. Yeah? I mean, you can of course tune the camera. I don't even know if the camera controls. There were some. I tested this game and the midway one. Yeah, and if you look for World War II carrier-based warfare, there's also a um, quite operational one with Midway. I'm not sure if I will check it out. It has a lot of similarities, but of course comes with those specifics like naval air combat. Good, he's now reporting me the entire thing. I will skip it a bit. Ah, okay, that thing is a bit different from the Midway one. Yeah, that was exactly um, here. Thanks to Sturm und Drang, he informed me about this game, and he also plays it on his channel. Let's see if this com yeah, has differences. Uh, what was the scenario? If you want to play, yeah, Shetland, right? But somehow this engine also has something. I mean, sure, it's the retro. I never grew up with such graphics, but somehow this is also interesting. Something fresh. I now I don't even care that much for... Actually, all those games look so much. <laughs> those graphical differences there, I don't know. There's nothing anymore that can re-impress you. That's the times where perhaps when I was 14 or what graphics impressed me. 
Good, yeah, again, we will play the Germans. Let's hope this one comes with a uh, nice URI. And not with... Uh, whatever. Well, this saves... Okay. What is that here? A new sick out. Is there a way to speed up the Amiga? Yeah, there is in the options, right? I mean, if it is Jutland, yeah, it might be quite a. Oh, there's a speed up button, remember. You see, now giving orders to every single ship, they don't tell me that it's the entire Jutland OB. You give me 500% processor. But the music will freak out. Yeah, come on, I need to get here. It's things done. Yeah, okay, that's a bit faster. Yeah, but we also picked the biggest battle, yeah, but this but yeah, that is stress test. Okay. Good. Tell me that this time I have an order set menu. Okay, great. Yeah, we have now a signal book and a bridge plot. So yeah, indeed the Amiga version. Uh, let me quickly switch back on other end. Perhaps fast speed is not even that bad. Yeah, if you want a uh, uh, GOI order system, pick the Amiga version. Not sure about the Atari one. Uh, so there's the Atari one. And yeah, wait. Uh, so let's get here some full screen. A signal book. Perfect. Okay. Okay, we have in front of us battleships or battle cruisers. I want to inform the entire fleet. Signal the Can I signal the entire fleet. The single ships. Can I go back? Uh, yes, Jimmy, you have permission to close range. Cool, go for speed. Yeah, train sights and a war spite. Yeah, now we're talking. Uh, that is exactly what I know from the other game. Uh, so I played the Amiga version, I guess. Gunnery control officer, Friedrich der Große, range to target, war spite, 24,000 yards. 4,000 yards beyond our maximum range. Uh, Jimmy, then wait. But I need to signal. But everybody else seems to be also fighting. Oh. Good, that is the enemy here. Now I also have a Kuzo. Nine other enemy ships are visible. Uh, there is this group here. And they are also firing. We see impacts. Oh, well, it's not even that bad. Uh, they are also firing on... I guess that is still the König. Yeah, a lot of calculation going down here because Shetland. Yeah, even uh, from what I saw in the signal book, even the destroyers are simulated. Uh, it was big battle. It's hundreds of ships. Mm. 
Remember from the midway game, you could signal the entire fleet to open fire, for example. But it seems like those guys are on their own. Good. Orders, bridge. And yeah, when you do stuff, time passes by. Yeah? Good. Yeah, you can also look around. Let's check northeast. Uh, from my ship, Jimmy, don't make it so complicated. We are the fleet of the closer, exactly. What you mean? That is theory. <laughs> yeah, you need to spend even time to look, is that correct? Okay, yeah, that is the fleet. Uh, that is our right flank. And sometimes you can use those buttons here. And yeah, this quite a. Let's look into into the south. Okay. What well, you must? What is that? What I see behind me. Ah, uh, yeah, I think the flag is basically fleet orders, uh, but... Let's see. Good, and the enemy was northwest, right? Yeah, okay. So we are back. Yeah, that is look. Sure could be easier. Perhaps there are some direct controls. Um... But yeah, basically every t everything here requires you to use your signal book. Which is nice. Yeah, in the DOS version you need to enter all this stuff on your own. That then can be quite tedious. You can order your flagship, yeah, change course, etc. And report damage control or what else. Or you can signal another ship to do something. Yeah, like report, attack, move. Speed up. There is some stuff you can add. Good, yeah. Um we are currently training our guns. I might go broadside and I guess everybody else will follow me. Yeah, no, no, we will keep our flag. The signal the lead. That is. Make the signal. signal ships. Signal my own ship happens then. They will think I'm crazy. Yeah, that is for orders, for example, you can also use on other ships. Yeah, you can give somebody order to anchor, assist another ship, change to follow another ship, join the Division or what else? Patrol this area, etc. Send me your food. Good. Set course. I want to go right northwest. Northwest is basically three hundred. So I want to go. Let's see. Go home. Yeah, that's quite complex here. Yeah. Okay. Let's leave it like that.
Good. Let's continue the battle. That is a very slow game, yeah. Turn based or Vigo. Vigo hits better, yeah. This Vigo. You give some orders, time proceeds. I think that's the same for the land based games. Yeah, currently we can't train our guns because they are still out of range. But I think the Battleship König here on this. On starboard side is already engaging. A cycling report has been received here. Can I read that? The Admiral König. Ah, oh, from the König. The Admiral. Our oh, position is 5, 6 degrees, 47 minutes. North, 5 degrees. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, what is going on? Any ship the line being 26,000 yards northwest. Yeah, Jimmy, we are aware. There's an enemy fleet heading to us. Five other enemy ships visible. Good job. Thanks for the report. Engage. Yeah, I see you engaging. Yeah, I like this flagship focus here. Yeah, I mean, you can also switch. Uh, some, yeah, well, hope the word. Uh, I might speed up the game again, or are we still running on maximum speed? Okay. What's that? Are they even making faster the game? They give me full speed. Not really, is it? Perhaps. Because you being a turn based uh, Vigo game, yeah. Speeding up the emulation is not really a problem, as the game will pause. And it seems like in-game there is no music, which could go crazy. Okay, lost sighting. Are they turning? Because I lose us the sighting of many of those ships. Do we want to turn southwest? I think so. Can they follow a hostile ship? I see this guy. Uh, or considering this to be lost. Of course, you can't see enemy ships in those lists. Yes, we have all Birmingham. 
Range 19,000, that should be in range. Okay, everybody else is following me, that is good. And everybody's... Okay. Yeah, press K, K gives, gives you, it seems like, an entire report. Ah, look at this, now we're engaging here, broadside. Yeah, I might not change the course. Well, seems like we can broadside them. Yeah, nice find. I mean, I like this order system. And sure, it is of course somewhat ancient, no doubt. But the idea is pretty good. Um, somebody should pick up this idea. It's especially naval war games, especially when being authentic. Sometimes, of course, people are somewhat... Worrying that it might then become boring, yeah, because naval warfare is not really that compatible with a realistic naval warfare is because it was often a uh, uh, they're coming at us. A timely affair. And that's also why you need to focus on the specifics like command and control, yeah, that makes it challenging. And what imagine you have a 3D game. Doesn't even need to be super graphics. I mean, Rule the Waves did something like this. Uh, there's, a, there's this commander mode where you only have one ship, but you don't really give orders. Unfortunately. I think you can signal other ships in the close, in the vicinity. Yeah, but the other games are basically give you control of all ships and do whatever you want. But imagine you have a game where you can run, ar run around as a fleet commander and then you signal single ships or divisions to attack that would make naval warfare exciting yeah i mean i'm fine we can quickly check i might order to speed up but we're already at maximum speed everybody's following me and i give me a report on my ship yeah, no, I don't need that. We didn't receive any damage yet. Yeah, this look thing could be, of course, less complicated. That is looking around to me. That is very uh, rocket science looking. But perhaps there are some hotkeys. Let's check. I mean, it's a mega version. 92 is not that early. Cruiser keys were already invented. Uh, open range. Yeah, by now I mean definitely nice idea, yeah. By now I guess I would rather play a great nav naval battles or a John Tiller. But especially this great naval battles 5, that is quite good. But the signaling and flagship thing, good idea. Oh, now we received a hit. <clears throat> Give me another impact. And yeah, damage control. Parties have successfully controlled the fire. I see there's also some. And successfully controlled the flood. So there's also some sophisticated damage 
simulation going on. Nice to see. Yeah, currently trying to change the camera, but looks like you really need to do it here, basically by the book. Good. Yeah, give me a damage report. Those early 3D graphics. But they have a certain charm as well, yeah. I mean, it was sprite-based graphics, but I think there was always a quality thing. There's some sprite-based games that look somehow hard on the eye. That was late 90s 2D-3D sprite-based games. There's some that look so grainy. Especially, I don't know, something like a strategy game, but I guess it is always about getting used to it. I noticed the more I play those classic games, to check them out, the less I care for that. Sometimes it is even interesting because your imagination might get... Yeah. What? Okay, I need to put in a, another disc. Yeah, um, because this game come on came on several discs for the Amiga. Okay, but should be enough. Should give you an overview. Interesting game. Yeah, I think there's of course other choices by now that might be more your thing if you look for authentic World War One or World War Two surface engagement. Yeah, like the mentioned SSI Great Naval Battles or John Tiller WDS Naval Warfare series which basically holds also everything uh, from Tsushima World War One to Surface World War Two Pacific and yeah carrier games there are several I personally think especially those SSG ones but the SSI ones are also good yeah, Glixby also did carrier-based games because carrier is always almost always operational. Or almost goes operational. So there's good choices, but what this game is very unique is this order system, which I like. Yeah, you basically um, in the in the Great Naval Battle series, you basically are sitting on your on your flagship. So, yeah, basically you can also play it like that, but you always have this overview. It would be great that you first need to find out what is going on. Yeah? Imagine you, your second carrier sunk 
and you don't know what happened to those guys for uh, they, they first need to report to you and if there's no report incoming I mean they will of course report it I guess by radio but yeah, stuff happened yeah, I don't know ship getting torpedoed not even managing to to send a report yeah. ideas like that somehow would re-spice up naval warfare and especially authentic naval warfare there's really many ideas, yeah? it's not always ah, the people don't want to play that or it was already done, there's millions of ideas lying laying there, you just need to sit down, think a bit and then there will be tons of ideas coming up. Yeah, but check it out, yeah. Amiga, DOS or Atari, you see there's a difference between especially the DOS and Amiga version. If you prefer command prompting, yeah, then go for the DOS one. Okay, yeah, my come out up now with something entirely different. See you. Good hunting.